Welcome to our Bridge the Gap session. Get ready to master four advanced phrases. Hey, but we have two bonus expressions thrown in for good measure. And in this video, through examples and podcasts, we're going to kickstart your journey to real fluency and confidence. But if you want to step it up, join our course where there's gamification, presentations, and discussions because, hey, you can't improve your speaking if you're speaking into a vacuum. But let's dive into today's session and our first four phrases. But first up, I'd like you to think about a time when you were a victim of petty crime. Petty crime such as theft, pickpocketing, or vandalism. Grab a notebook and write down a few words. Describe the experience. Where did it happen? When did it happen? Who were you with? What was taken? How did it make you feel? Now, let's look at some advanced phrases that will help you to explain the story, to tell the story in a more fluent and confident way using advanced vocabulary. First up, we have pickpocket. And what is a pickpocket? A pickpocket is a person who steals from others. A pickpocket secretly takes items, typically wallets or valuables, from unsuspecting people's bags or pockets. Obviously, without their knowledge, they are unsuspecting and definitely without their consent. So a pickpocket is someone who steals from others. Focus on the image. Look at the pickpocket taking the wallet from the pocket, and this will help you to reinforce the vocabulary. Pickpocket, a person who steals from others, and usually it's wallets or something from a handbag. Next up, we have break the law. And what does it mean to break the law? It means to violate. Please focus on the pronunciation of this word because it is so often mispronounced. Violate, violate. And if you join the Bridge the Gap course, we will focus on pronunciation in class. So break the law means to violate or disobey established legal regulations or statutes. And this results in illegal behavior or actions. It's the law, you break the law, it's considered illegal to break the law. Next up, we have behind bars. And if you break the law, you will probably end up behind bars. So what does this mean? Behind bars is a phrase that is used to describe someone who is in prison. And a person who is in prison, we can also say the person is incarcerated. Incarcerated. Repeat after me. Incarcerated. So this person who is behind bars is serving a sentence for committing a crime behind bars. Now, let's pause for a moment and go back to our other phrases. What's the first phrase that we learned today? Pickpocket. Perfect. And what is or who is a pickpocket? Someone who steals, yes, secretly taking items like wallets. Good job. Second phrase for today was break the law. And what does it mean to break the law? To violate a regulation. Well done. The third phrase is behind bars. And if someone is behind bars, the person is in prison or the person is incarcerated lovely advanced word incarcerated behind bars incarcerated try to create a sentence that incorporates both words and that way it will be easier for you to remember the vocabulary you know he's behind bars he's incarcerated okay so let's move on to our fourth advanced phrase today which is throw the book at someone. And what does it mean to throw the book at someone? Well, first up, it's an idiom. And it means to impose 
the maximum possible punishment on someone who has committed a crime. So this is a really harsh punishment, a really severe punishment. Throw the book at someone. So it's not saying do community service. It's like life imprisonment. Throw the book at someone. Well done. Before we look at our example sentences, a quick run through of the four phrases we have covered so far. Pickpocket. Do you remember what a pickpocket is? Think of the image. Well done. Break the law. Break the law. Violate a regulation. Speeding, it's breaking the law, isn't it? Behind bars, behind bars. This has got nothing to do with alcohol. It means in prison, incarcerated. And throw the book at someone, it means maximum punishment. Now, let's dive into our examples. Are you ready? Okay, first up, we have pickpocket. Pickpockets operate in crowded areas where people are distracted. Pickpockets. Pickpockets operate in crowded places where people are distracted. Last summer, I was a victim of a pickpocket while traveling abroad. Last summer, I was a victim of a victim of a pickpocket while traveling abroad. Just look at the sentence structure there. A victim of a pickpocket. And next up, a lovely conditional sentence. If you're not careful, a pickpocket might target you in busy tourist areas. So a pickpocket might target you. And if you are the target, that means that you will become a victim of the pickpocket. And where do these pickpockets operate? In crowded places. And it's usually where people are distracted. They're having fun. I saw someone who was a victim of a pickpocket on the metro in Rome. So pickpockets operate in crowded places. Were you ever a victim of a pickpocket? And a pickpocket might target you in a busy tourist area, so be careful. Okay, now let's look at some examples of break the law, example sentences. And it's really important to learn vocabulary in context so that you learn the correct sentence formation, word formation, grammar forms. So let's start with breaking the law can result in serious consequences. Breaking the law can result in serious consequences. What are these consequences? Fines, imprisonment, it depends on which law you've broken, right? She regretted she regretted ing gerund she regretted breaking the law when she was caught stealing from the store she regretted breaking the law try to learn that phrase as one regret breaking the law she regretted breaking the law and if you break the law you risk damaging your reputation and future prospects. If you break the law, you will have a criminal record. So if you break the law, you risk damaging your reputation and future prospects. My advice, don't break the law. Next up, we have behind bars. And if you break the law, you might end up behind bars. So let's look at some example sentences for behind bars. Criminals who are behind bars often seek ways to pass the time, such as reading or exercising. Some even finish degrees, okay? It depends on how long they are behind bars. But they often look for ways to pass the time. And he spent five years behind bars for his involvement in the robbery. He spent 
five years behind bars. And do you remember what behind bars means? In prison, incarcerated. He spent five years behind bars for his involvement in the robbery. And if convicted, the suspect could spend decades behind bars for the crimes committed. So if convicted, if he is found guilty, right now he's just a suspect, but if he is convicted, the suspect could spend decades behind bars for the crimes committed. And our fourth phrase, throw the book at someone. Last year, the court threw the book at the corporate executives involved in the financial scandal. So was this a harsh punishment or a mild punishment? It was the maximum punishment. So throw the book at someone, maximum punishment. Last year, the court threw the book at the executives. And if court, if you are caught, the authorities will surely throw the book at you, or in this case, if caught, the authorities will surely throw the book at those responsible for the cyber attack. And another way to say this is, if those responsible for the cyber attack are caught, the authorities will surely throw the book at them. This is just different sentence structure. The judge throws the book at repeat offenders to deter future crimes. So the judge throws the book. He imposes maximum punishment at repeat offenders, criminals who keep doing the same bad things over and over again repeat offenders, not a first time criminal, a repeat offender, someone who has committed the crime before. So the judge throws the book, throws the book at repeat offenders to deter future crimes. Now let's do a quick review of our four phrases. Throw the book at someone. Okay, but first we have pickpocket the person who steals, things like wallets, break the law, speeding, violate regulations, behind bars, in prison, incarcerated, throw the book at someone, maximum punishment. But I promised you two more advanced phrases or idiomatic language, and here we go. The first one, in hot water. What does it mean if I say that someone is in hot water? Uh-oh, this person is in trouble. This person is facing serious consequences. Why? The person is in hot water as a result of their actions or decisions, especially in a legal context. So if you are in hot water, it means you are in trouble you are in hot water you are facing serious consequences you are in hot water because of your actions or decisions especially in a legal context next up we have get away with murder and this idiom it's an idiom it means to escape punishment for doing something wrong. Now, please pay attention here. It does not necessarily mean murder. It means doing something wrong, escaping punishment if you did something wrong, not only murder, okay? So when I say something wrong, something serious, and why does the person get away with murder well it's often due to luck lack of evidence or maybe the authorities were just very lenient so if you get away with murder it means you escape punishment for doing something wrong something serious but not necessarily murder it's an idiom so it's figurative 
And why do some criminals, why do some people get away with murder? Well, they get lucky. He got away with murder because he was lucky. He got away with murder because of the lack of evidence. He got away with murder because of the lenient treatment by the authorities. Get away with murder. It's really important that you remember it does not necessarily mean murder. Got it? Perfect. Now, if you have really been paying attention, there's a very, very advanced word in the description or the definition for get away with murder, and it's egregious, egregious, egregious. We will practice this in our group course, egregious. And what do you think egregious means? Don't Google. Look at the sentence. Try to guess the meaning from the sentence. Just before egregious, what does it say? Especially something serious or egregious, which would imply that egregious means serious. Serious or egregious, a synonym. Serious or egregious. Well done. Okay, now that we have mastered four phrases, plus the two bonus idioms, it's time for our podcast. And I want you to listen very carefully and identify as many of the phrases as you can. Try not to look at the screen. Okay. Welcome to the latest episode of our podcast where we dive into intriguing topics and explore fascinating idioms and phrases Today, we're delving into the world of crime and punishment, discussing some common expressions related to law and order. Our first phrase is pickpocket. Imagine strolling through a bustling market, unaware that a skilled pickpocket is lurking nearby, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. Pickpockets are masters of deception, swiftly swiping valuables from unsuspecting victims without them even realizing it. Next up, we have break the law. We've all heard stories of individuals who break the law for various reasons, whether out of desperation or sheer recklessness. However, it's essential to remember that breaking the law carries consequences, and those who engage in illegal activities may face serious penalties. Next up, we move on to behind bars. When someone is behind bars, it means they are incarcerated or serving time in prison. Being behind bars can be a sobering experience, serving as a stark reminder of the consequences of criminal behavior. Last but not least, we have throw the book at someone Picture a courtroom scene where a judge delivers a harsh sentence to a convicted criminal, metaphorically throwing the legal book at them. And this expression implies imposing the maximum possible punishment. This expression implies imposing the maximum possible punishment, often to send a strong message or to deter future wrongdoing. And there you have it, four phrases related to crime and punishment. Remember, language is a powerful tool that allows us to express complex ideas and concepts, even when discussing challenging topics like law enforcement and justice. That's all for today's episode. Join us next time for more captivating discussions and language insights. But before you go, let's quickly review the four phrases and the two bonus phrases that you learned today. Pickpocket, a person who secretly takes items like wallets. Break the law to violate a regulation. Remember the image of speeding behind bars, in prison, incarcerated. Throw the book at someone maximum punishment. 
in hot water do you remember what in hot water meant you can go back and check it means in trouble and get away with murder does it mean only escaping punishment for murder or for a serious crime or what was that beautiful word with the letter e another word for serious egregious wow well done now if you join the group course you will have to create a presentation more details in the pdf join the group course and watch your fluency and confidence soar like i said fluency and confidence really bloom and blossom in a group course setting where you get to speak it's so important to speak so if you want to unlock your fluency and confidence through guided practice in a supportive learning environment with expert tutors sign up today i'm your host nas native english speaker salter certified and super tutor thank you for joining me today on this episode of bridge the gap